Good morning, my friends. Today is Friday, April 15th. It is Good Friday, one of the most holiest days of the year. It's day 88 of Be Formed and day 45 of our spiritual spring training or Lent. Obviously, only two more days of Lent and Be Formed. We're here in front of the beautiful uh, Santa Maria in Roncesvalles, uh, Spain. This was our first stop yesterday uh, after, listen to this, we walked 19 and a half miles. We walked 45,000 steps, nine hours we were walking. Uh, we climbed over 5,000 feet in elevation and we burned over 5,500 calories yesterday. <laughs> That's just the first day. This church was built in the 12th century specifically for pilgrims on El Camino. So it's the first stop after St. John's and uh, they get about 85,000 pilgrims. The, the town is said to hold only 30 people. Uh, the population of Roncesvalles is 30 people. So obviously today is Good Friday and I'm going to focus on what we learned today in our first day of walking. but obviously give Good Friday its due. We, uh, today we walk the, uh, uh, the way of the cross with Jesus. We're going to read the, the Passion of the Christ. And uh, we're going to walk the Passion of the Christ with Jesus. And I want you to make sure you spend time either uh, celebrating the Stations of the Cross or uh, going to the Good Friday service. And also remember to fast and abstain on this Good Friday as a remembrance of what Jesus did. The more that we recognize what Jesus did uh, to die for our sins, to save us and give us the opportunity for eternal life, it should be a life-changing experience for us. Um, but some of the things that I learned on this first day of walking yesterday from St. John to Roncesvalles, the first thing is to live in the moment. To realize that, you know, we were walking in the Pyrenees Mountains and there were times when we couldn't see 100 yards ahead of us. And I remember we were praying the rosary as we walked. We, we couldn't see the person uh, that was walking in front of us. And it really just helped us to realize that we need to live in the moment. Most of the great saints are able to live in the moment as Jesus did as he walked the way of the cross. The second thing is sometimes we have to make a decision in life and just go with it. There's times in life when we kind of put off making decisions because it's hard to, we don't know what's the right way to go. There were times when we had, you know, forks in the road where we had to either go right or go left. We didn't know exactly what the right way was, um, but we, we just had to make a decision and then follow the path and see where it leads. If, if it led to a dead end, which it did one time, <laughs> uh, we had to turn around and, and go back. So learn to make a decision and go with it. The third thing is when you make a bad turn in life, uh, it's okay to turn around and, and, and come back. As I said, we, we, we missed a turn in the road and it, it wasn't well marked. There's a lot of uh, clouds in the Pyrenees and uh, we just kind of followed the road and we realized that one of the guys had a GPS. We realized we were on the wrong path. And so we had to walk maybe a half mile back we saw the path, which <laughs> was amazing that anybody saw that it was the right path. And, uh, you know, and, and so in the, in, the, in the game of life, are there times when we make bad decisions and uh, we think, oh, I can't go back. Uh, there's no way God will forgive me. One confession can change your life. And, and so we can make a, a bad decision, a, a sin, come back to the Lord's mercy and start over. Fortunately, it, was, it only took us maybe one mile, a half, way, half mile either way out of, out of the path. But if we, don't turn, if we didn't turn back, we, we might still be walking somewhere in, in the mountains today. Don't worry, those who are praying for us, we felt your prayers and we, uh, we, we have a good GPS system. And finally, the fourth thing is uh, think long term. You know, again, the, the, the clouds, the fog in the Pyrenees, uh, you know, again, making decisions. There were times when we had options and both would lead us to Roncesvalles, where we're at. Um, some were really uh, like it would be fast, but maybe a little bit more dangerous. Uh, so we took the road that was less dangerous because we, we were thinking long term. This is our first day of 34 days of walking. And in the game of life, sometimes we take risks that maybe maybe too much 
and we're not thinking of what's my long-term goal? It's heaven. And I should be making decisions along the way that lead me to my ultimate destiny, which is with God in heaven. So with that in mind, on this Good Friday, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for this Good Friday. We thank you for your son, Jesus, who lived our life, walked our walk, died our death, and rose to new life. Help us to appreciate the gift of your love. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please continue to like, subscribe, and share this video with at least one person today. And God bless you, and please pray for us as we walk, I think, 13 miles tomorrow, or today, on the journey to Zubiri, Spain.